Hi, I'm Clive Behrman from Click's data integration team. And today I'm going to talk about data warehouse automation. But before I do that, let's just first talk about how we structure and the best practices for structuring our data warehouse. So in general, we use three zones. We have a landing zone, and typically the data in this landing zone is structured as tables, and it mirrors the data from our transactional systems. And that's our uh, landing. The second zone is our curated zone, and that conforms the data to some well-known methodology. And so that could be, we uh, could be Data Vault, could be Inman, could be Kimball. So our curated zone And that's uh, Data Vault. And the third zone is our analytics or reporting zone. And that's typically structured as star schemas, where we have a central fact, and emanating from the central fact are dimensions. So it might be number of widgets sold, days, weeks, months, years, that sort of thing. So. This is good practice for data warehouses, but the question is, well, what about the automation? Well, to make this sort of step work with landing, curation, and our uh, data marts, we are writing an awful lot of SQL. We're writing SQL to load the data into landing, we're writing SQL to move the data from our landing zones to our uh, to our curated zone and conforming the data to the data vault model. And then we're also writing a lot of SQL to move it from the curated zone into our data mart zone. So using data warehouse automation tools from folks like Click, we can actually generate, model, and create SQL for each one of these zones without writing any code. We can use visual tools, and we can also automate how the data flows from one zone to another. And that's all there is really to it. So if you'd like to know more about data warehouse automation from Click, then go to www click.com and search for data warehouse automation. Thanks.